Hey there everybody, it's Boxer Rockets again. Just posting another video. Wasn't planning on doing another one today, but some circumstances withholding felt I should. As you guys probably know, there was a pretty good bit of violence back at home in Fort Lewis, Texas. I'm not Fort Lewis, Fort Hood, Texas. Evidently there was 13 killed, 31 wounded. By above all people, a U.S. Army officer of the rank of major. The person who claimed it did it, I'm not even going to judge at first with the Muslim background because that's not the right route to look at it. He says he hated the Army. He hated you know, America, reported doing all sorts of things, posting in extremist websites about advocating violence and suicide bombings in Iraq. About celebrating when Americans die over here but if he hated the, the military so much and hated America so much what led him to believe that it was acceptable for him to take advantage of our system to advance through the ranks of the military I mean he he evidently hated the military enough to get his commission become a second lieutenant he hated it enough to become a first lieutenant he hated it enough to become a captain he hated enough to become a major. I mean, seriously, what the hell? What gives? I mean, if like that guy evidently lived, I was watching it pretty hard for most of the night at work. I almost hope that someday he might be able to watch this and just answer why the. F I'm not even want to swear. Why the hell did you do something like that? You, you, you raised your right hand just like everybody else did. Just defend and serve. Yeah, he's Middle Eastern. I don't really care about that, personally. I have friends who are Islamic. I have friends who are Arabic descents. I have friends who are Arabic who aren't, who aren't Muslim. Another good pipe friend that I know off of YouTube. Uh, Ahmed Sadiq, if you're watching this, more power to you. Great friend, and I don't hold anything against you, nor should anybody in America for that. It's just, it's a shame, it really is. Because in, in the long run, just coming from my perspective, he's a U.S. Army officer, he obviously committed treason against the United States. The way the laws are held, he most likely will be put to death. On that note, though, coming from the extremist standpoint, which there was, was, was watching those forums as well, within the extremist forums, you know, praise, praises be unto, be unto him and doing great and glor gloriful things for his creator. So under that aspect, he'll become a martyr. It's just, it's a really screwed up situation. There's no doubt about that. Is there easy answers? No, far from it. But it's just not the right route to take. I mean, just really, what brings one to actually do something like that? To ones you serve with. I mean, not only did you hurt enlisted, he hurt it reserve, I believe, National Guard. Some of the people that went through that building was yesterday, today, were people that were supposed to come to re to replace me. Who knows if I'll be staying here in Iraq longer because of it. Does that really situate with extremist goals to keep it, keep U.S. forces in, in the Middle East for longer? I'm not sure, but common sense dictates no. And that's why I'm out here smoking a pipe, to get my mind off, to detox a little bit. See if we can't start over a little bit for me tomorrow at least. Or tonight, as a work night shift. I really don't like posting political stuff, and but this was just too much for me. What are you guys' opinions on all this? Because hell, I don't know what the hell mine are right now, other than it's just a sad, sad day for America. It's a sad day for the military. It's a sad day for a lot of for a lot of people. Anybody watching out there who's affected by it, my heart, my condolences go out to you guys. 